Introduction to Music Therapy Music therapy has a long and fascinating history that dates back to ancient times. In the 1940s, key players in the development of music therapy as an organized clinical profession were Margaret Lawrence, Edgar Willems, and Paul Nordoff. Margaret Lawrence is credited with being the first person to formally use music therapy as a means of treatment for her patients with mental illness. Edgar Willems, a French musician and composer, is known for his pioneering work in music therapy. Paul Nordoff, an American composer and pianist, was the first to develop a comprehensive theory of music therapy for use in clinical practice. These three individuals are largely responsible for laying the foundation for the development of modern music therapy. The Early Roots of Music Therapy Music therapy has been practiced for centuries and its roots go back to ancient civilizations. The earliest known example of music use for therapeutic purposes is in the 4th millennium BC in the culture of ancient Sumer. In the ancient world, music was used to evoke emotion and to create a sense of harmony and well-being. It was believed to have healing properties and it was used to treat physical and psychological ailments. Music was also used in religious ceremonies and rituals as a way of connecting with the divine. In ancient Egypt, music was used as a form of medicine, and even today there are many references to its use in healing practices. Music therapy continued to develop throughout the centuries, with its use becoming more widespread as it was adopted by different cultures around the world. Music therapy in ancient Egypt It is believed that the ancient Egyptians were also proponents of this practice, believing that sound and vibration could be used to heal physical, emotional, and spiritual ailments. For example, in ancient Egypt, the lute and harp were used to treat depression and other mental disorders. Music was also believed to help in opening up the psychic channels, helping people come to terms with their emotions and allowing them to heal. Additionally, music was used in rituals and ceremonies to bring people closer to their divine powers. Music was also believed to have magical properties and was often used in incantations and magical rituals for the purpose of healing. Music Therapy in Ancient Rome The ancient Roman culture was deeply invested in the powers of music and its healing potential. It was believed that music could be used to soothe physical and mental illness, as well as to bring balance and harmony to a person's life. Roman physicians would often incorporate music into their healing practices, using it to treat physical ailments such as digestive issues and depression. Ancient Roman philosophers such as Cicero and Plato wrote extensively about the power of music to improve mental and physical health, and how it could be used to bring about positive change in an individual's life. In addition, Roman physicians would use music to help calm their patients during surgery or other treatments. Music therapy was also used in Roman prisons and hospitals, where it was believed that its calming effects could help to reduce stress and aggression. Music therapy in ancient Greece In ancient Greece, music was seen as playing a vital role in both educating and healing people. Plato wrote extensively about the use of music as a therapeutic tool and attributed it to Apollo for its educational value, and to Dionysus for its healing potential. Cretan hieroglyphic script has three symbols which represent musical instruments, two types of harp and a sistrum, or rattle, originally from Egypt. It is believed that these instruments were used in ancient Greece for therapeutic purposes, such as calming and soothing emotions. Research has been done on the effects of music therapy with children aged from 8 to 11 years old with ASD and or related intellectual disorder. The results show that music therapy is an effective intervention for improving the emotional, cognitive, and social skills of these children. 
Music and Catharsis Music and Catharsis have been linked since ancient times. In the early 20th century, researchers began to study the effects of music on emotional expression. They observed that music can facilitate emotional catharsis, and identified mechanisms through which this process occurs. These mechanisms included absorption, whether someone was a music major or not, mood congruent listening, and the feeling of connectedness to the music. This research has helped us to understand how music can aid in healing and development, and why it has been used therapeutically in many ancient cultures. The Development of Music Therapy During the 20th Century In the 1940s, key players in the development of music therapy of an organized clinical profession were psychiatrist and music therapist Ira Altshuler. He was one of the first to recognize the healing power of music, and to develop approaches to use it in a therapeutic setting. Altshuler's work, along with that of other pioneers in the field, gave way to the development of new approaches and techniques for using music in therapy. The 1940s also saw the rise of prominent music therapists such as Margaret Bowden and Paul Nordoff, who are credited with laying the foundation for modern music therapy practice. As research and studies on the effectiveness of music therapy began to emerge during this period, it gained more credibility in the medical community and began to gain wider acceptance. The Expansion of Music Therapy in the 21st Century The 21st century has seen a rapid expansion in music therapy. Music therapy is now being used in a wide range of settings, from hospitals to schools, and for a variety of purposes. For example, it is being used to help people with mental health issues such as depression and anxiety, to promote healing from physical injuries, and even to assist with social skills development. Music therapy has also been found to be beneficial for patients with Alzheimer's and dementia, as well as helping with stress management and relaxation. With the advancement of technology, Music therapists are now able to use a variety of digital tools to help them create customized music for each patient. This allows the therapist to tailor the music specifically to the individual's needs, allowing them to better address their problems. The Benefits of Music Therapy Music therapy is an ancient healing tradition that has profound effects on physical, psychological, and emotional well-being. The benefits of music therapy are well documented in scientific studies and research. Studies have shown that music therapy can reduce stress, improve mood and behavior, increase physical mobility, and facilitate communication and relaxation. It can also be used to increase self-confidence and self-expression, improve cognitive functioning, increase motivation, and alleviate symptoms of depression and anxiety. Music therapy can also be beneficial in treating a wide range of medical conditions, such as Alzheimer's disease, autism spectrum disorder, Parkinson's disease, stroke, and traumatic brain injury. Music therapy can also be used to treat pain, improve sleep quality, and promote physical rehabilitation. With its long history of proven effectiveness in treating a wide variety of medical conditions and mental health issues, it is clear that music therapy is an invaluable tool for promoting overall health and well-being. Conclusion In conclusion, music therapy has been used for thousands of years and its benefits are undeniable. Music therapy is an evidence-based therapy and is used to treat a variety of mental and physical health issues. It is used to help individuals express emotions, improve communication, reduce stress, and increase overall well-being. Music therapists use a wide range of techniques such as improvisation, songwriting, and guided imagery to help their clients achieve their goals. Through music therapy, individuals can gain insight into their feelings and learn how to effectively manage their mental health.